Once upon a time, four of the best pilots in the U.S. Air Force trained to fly into space. That's where we're going. And they flew at the speed of sound to the very top of the sky. They were destined to be the first. Ladies and gentlemen, I would, I would like, like you to meet the first, first American to cross into outer space. But our country had other plans. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. 11 days ago, atmospheric tracking determined that Russian satellite Icon will re-enter the Earth's atmosphere in 30 days. Now. The guidance system on this thing is a dinosaur. The only men for the job. Is there anyone still alive who can fix this thing? Are the boys. I can't fill up a space shuttle with geriatrics. Clock's ticking, Bob, and I'm only getting older. NASA wants to send us into space. <laughs> I told him I'd only do it if the original team did the job. <laughs> I'm gonna need to pray about this. Why the hell not? You and your entire crew will have to meet the exact physical requirements as any other astronaut here. Go! No. These men are the pioneers of this business. Oh, damn teeth, Grim. Damn, Jerry. They were around when rockets were born. Stick to their protocol, will you, Hawk? My kill! Uh. Sock it to him. I have never met a kid who didn't dream of being an astronaut when he grew up. You ever met a kid that wouldn't grow up? Thank you, God. Welcome to space, Frank. You'd get a load of this. General, just what sort of modifications have your people made here? I'm not getting this crew killed, you included. You miss, you're never gonna make it back to the ship. You know, I thought this was gonna be hard.